Today we are going to discuss the alpha glucosidase inhibitor. In that category we have voglibos, acarbos and miglitol. The drugs in that category we have voglibos, acarbos and miglitol. So these are the alpha glucosidase inhibitor. Alpha glucosidase inhibitor means we should know what is the function of alpha glucosidase. For that, we should know what is mean by monosaccharides, disaccharides and how they are absorbed. Monosaccharides like glucose and fructose, they are absorbed from the intestine. Disaccharides and oligosaccharides, they are first to be broken down into monosaccharides before being absorbed. Means monosaccharides like glucose and fructose, they are directly absorbed from the intestine. And oligosaccharides or disaccharides, they are first to be broken down into monosaccharides and then it is get absorbed. So breaking down is done by the enzyme. Breaking down is done by the enzyme means from oligosaccharides to disaccharides and disaccharides to monosaccharide is done by this alpha glucosidase enzyme. Alpha glucosidase enzyme is a uh, family of enzymes like sucrase, maltases, glucoamylase, alpha amylase, beta glucosidase and all these enzymes are present in the brush border cells of intestine. These enzymes are present in the brush border cells of intestine and what they do? They will break down the oligosaccharides into the disaccharides and disaccharides will break down into the monosaccharides. So drugs like acarbose, miclitol or voglibose, what they do? They inhibit alpha glucosidase enzyme in the intestinal brush border cells. If they inhibit this alpha glucosidase enzyme in the intestinal brush border cells, so what will happen? There will be no breakdown of these oligosaccharides. There will be no breakdown of these disaccharides into monosaccharides. So what does that mean? It will prevent absorption and delay digestion of carbohydrates prevent absorption and delay digestion of carbohydrates and it will reduce the postprandial blood glucose level it will reduce the postprandial blood glucose level and as an adverse drug reaction it may cause flatulence diarrhea abdominal pain why there is a flatulence diarrhea or abdominal pain because of undigested carbohydrates in the colon and why there is a flatulence diarrhea or abdominal pain because of undigested carbohydrate in the colon and that undigested carbohydrate in the colon may lead to fermentation of short chain fatty acid and that fermentation of short chain fatty acid releases gas so there is a flatulence diarrhea and abdominal pain but there will be no hypoglycemia at all